Hi, I'm Dr. Morna Foy, president of the Wisconsin Technical College System. There are so many great things happening in our system. That's why I'm visiting all 16 colleges to celebrate our 300,000 students, our staff, faculty, and leadership teams for everything they do to make our campuses vibrant and innovative places to learn and grow. I can't wait to go back to college. The next stop on our tour of excellence is Chippewa Valley Technical College. Based in Eau Claire, Chippewa Valley has several locations spread across 11 counties and serves nearly 18,000 students. We are going to take an inch to an inch and a half of a subsection towards the nape of the neck. My first stop on campus is the cosmetology program and Sheer Inspiration Salon, where I met Riley Courtney, who gave me some tips on how to cut hair on Deborah, the mannequin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull a small section in the middle of the head. And how did you know you wanted to, to cut hair and do color and do this? I've just always loved doing this as a kid. Um, how many I, dolls do you have that are bald? Too many, <laughs> too many. I, you know the Barbie from the Barbie movie, the crazy one? That's how many Barbies I have that look like her. Um, I have a lot. And this program definitely makes me realize that this is for me. After cutting, Amy Ridgway gave me a lesson in coloring hair. Ever. It'll, I'll be doing this under supervision, so no worries. <laughs> she's you signed a release. She's yes, fine. She's signed a release. <laughs> she oh knows what she's getting in for. What drew you to uh, cosmetology? Um, it's just something that I've always done with like friends and family. I've always done like the the proms and the weddings and the you know all of those types of things. And um, my sister went back to school for cosmetology a couple of years ago, and we just kind of decided to do it together. It's a career change for me, so this is like I was in um, social services. Oh, really? For 20 years. That's a big career and change. Big career change, yep. So, um, yeah, just kind of ready to be helping people in a different way, I guess. Well, Deborah, you've been an outstanding <laughs> client. Thank you so much for your patience. <laughs> From a salon, I walked over Claremont Avenue with President Sunem Beaton Garcia to visit the Health Education Center. So Mir will go in your right hand, okay. and the instrument in your left. That's where I met Sydney Yang, a second semester dental hygiene student. Oh, well how do I hold his lip then? With your uh, third ring. finger. Yep. Oh, <laughs> look at this! Yeah, perfect. I moved around a lot as a kid, mm -hmm. so um, finding a job that is needed anywhere was really important to me. In addition to classes, students like Sydney and dental assistant student Skylar Ramsey also get hands-on experience with real patients. This is our CBTC dental clinic. Mm -hmm. um, it functions as a, it's a full functioning dental clinic and also a classroom for us. So we have 15 chairs. And you're already in here working with live human beings. Yes, we're doing everything that we would well, normally do in a dental prophylaxis. And is it nerve wracking or do you feel ready and prepared? It was really scary at first. <laughs> we all your patients appreciate that. You took yeah. it that serious. <laughs> I was so nervous at first, but now after being thrown right in there, I feel ready and it's been a lot of fun. Another unique opportunity in the dental clinic at CVTC is a one-year fellowship sponsored by Delta Dental for Marquette dental students and graduates. It's kind of like a residency with uh, general dentistry. Um, just providing a ton of you know care to the, the patients, you know, doing fillings, root canals, extractions, crowns. It's really great working with like the hygiene students and dental assisting students. It kind of gives us like the experience of what it's going to be like in private practice. Obviously, dentistry is all, all about teamwork, so it's really important to learn how to work with every member of the team. Speaking of teamwork, I'm Austin. I'm the vice president of the esports club, the team captain. Um, a student, too. I sat down with Austin Johnson and other members of the CVTC eSports Club for a friendly game of Mario Kart. Did you guys know that this would be an option when you came to CVTC? No. I, this is my second year, so actually I did not even enroll. When I enrolled, this wasn't even around. It gives me a lot more sociability. It allows me to communicate with and make friends. We had a Mario Kart league that went on throughout the month, and we had about 20 to 25 people in this room, all linked together playing Mario Kart. And it was very loud, very competitive, but like, I, and I think that allowed a lot of the students here to make their own friends. Mm -hmm. From eSports, I made my way to the Transportation Center, 
where they let me get behind the wheel of a big rig. Ooh. Over there, you have an exhaust brake and all different kinds of things on here, and stuff that has to do with the uncoupling and coupling are air brakes. As for driving the semi, I figured after my experience in Mario Kart, I'm going to leave that to the experts. What do we have here? <gasps> oh! What has been the positive impact of having an actual mascot uh, on the eSports competitive, competitiveness? Like, does Ollie make a difference? Does he intimidate it, people? Do you stare him down? Much better than saying schools? I intimidate people. <laughs> the honor helps a lot uh, directing. Like, makes me feel like I have a school I'm mm -hmm. actually playing for instead of just you know, we're CVTC, we're the otters now. Mm -hmm. So I really like that I a like lot. that. Yeah. I actually wasn't expecting a serious answer oh, to my really? question, but <laughs> that was excellent. Well, thank you.